hello everyone in last video we have discussed theory of alpha decay in today's video i am going to discuss range of alpha particle okay now let us see the definition of range of alpha particles here we see that the range of alpha particle is defined as the distance through which an alpha particle can ionize a gas through which it passes and william henry bragg experimentally showed that alpha particles have a definite range after traveling a distance equal to its range the alpha particle gets completely neutralized and cannot ionize the and cannot ionize the gas further since it loses its entire kinetic energy okay now let us discuss this point by taking one example we all know that alpha particle is made up of two protons and two neutrons or we can call this alpha particle as a helium nucleus and one more thing protons are positively charged and neutrons are electrically neutral two to two protons alpha particle is going to get plus 2 charge and this alpha particle is capable of ionizing the electrically neutral atoms okay let us try to explain ionization here i have taken one unstable nucleus or we can take here a radioactive element and this radioactive element which emits alpha particle and this alpha particle is having plus 2 as its charge or it is doubly ionized when this alpha particle emits from unstable nucleus it is having some kinetic energy here here i am going to explain ionization by taking electrically neutral atom here i have taken electrically neutral atom that is this atom consists of a nucleus at the center and around nucleus there are different energy levels and in this energy level electrons are revolving and this atom is electrically neutral when alpha particle moving with some kinetic energy which moves near to the one electrically neutral atom due to its positive charge a electron which is revolving in the neutral atom gets attracted towards the positive charge and then this electron is going to emit from this neutral atom or eject from the neutral atom when this electron emits from emit from neutral atom then this atom becomes positively charged that is this alpha particle ionized the neutral atom here let us try to explain range of alpha particle by taking one example here i have taken one container in this container we have added gas molecules then we have taken one radioactive element or unstable nucleus from this unstable nucleus a alpha particle is emitted and this alpha particle is moving with some kinetic energy while moving this alpha particle this alpha particle it is having plus 2 charge due to its positive charge some of the atoms which are present in the container are going to ionize that is while moving from while moving the first atom is going to ionize and a electron is ejected from this atom and it becomes positively charged and similarly 
it is the alpha particle is going to ionize the second atom here also same electron is going to emit and this atom becomes positively charged and this alpha particle keeps on ionizing the atoms until its kinetic energy completely becomes zero when its energy completely becomes zero it stops ionizing the gas molecules or gas atoms and this alpha particle becomes electrically neutral from this we can calculate the range of alpha particle okay now let us see the next point that the range of alpha particles depends on four points the first one is the initial energy or velocity with which they are emitted and the second one is the nature of the radioactive element from which they are emitted and third one is the nature of the gas through which they pass and the last one is the pressure of the gas through which they pass okay now let us discuss these four points by diagrammatically the range of alpha particle depends on four points the first one is here i have taken a radioactive element and here i have considered a unstable nucleus and from this unstable nucleus alpha particle is emitted the first point is that the alpha particle the range of alpha particle depends on the energy or velocity of the this emitted alpha particle and the second point here i have taken two examples one is plutonium second one is uranium from plutonium 24094 uranium 23692 plus alpha particle is emitted and from uranium 23892 thallium 23490 plus alpha particle is emitted in both case the energy of the alpha particle is different so the range of alpha particle it depends on the the type of the radioactive element and the third one is it depends on the different types of the gases and that is when alpha particle moves in the gas it is going to ionize the gas molecules or the gas atoms so that it depends on the the type of gas which we are using for different gases the range of the alpha particle is going to be a different and the last one the fourth point is that it depends on the pressure that is in first contain both container are same size but here in first container we have added more molecules or more atoms as compared to the second container because of because of the more atoms alpha particle is going to travel very less distance as compared to the as compared to the second container because here the number of atoms are very small so it it can travel the alpha particle may travel a larger distance as compared to the the first one okay now let us move to the next point here here giger studied the range and energies of the alpha particles and proposed an empirical mathematical relationship between the range and velocity of alpha particles and it is given by r that is range is directly proportional to the v not cube 
or r is equals to a naught v naught cube where a naught is the proportionality constant and r is the range and v naught is the initial velocity and the above equation is also known as a Giger's law.